So word on the street is that Bedford is open once again along with Maple Springs and I believe Main Divide up to a certain point at least. As you might recall in my last video, I tried going up here just to the front of the gate and I ran into about four or five uh, firefighters that said nope nope closed down for at least a year and then that same day I think it was 80 V light and um, each adventure had said no nah, it's open man so we got to go examine what do you know it's open Oh, it sure does feel good to be back up here though, let me tell you. Look at that, they uh, demoed that trail that used to go up there and would drop you off just on the other side here. Silty, silty, silty. Oh yeah, they totally thrashed it. That sucks. You know what doesn't suck is that I'm out here riding. <laughs> it's just good honing of the skills, you know? Keep you sharp. Keep you sharp in the ring. I'm really stoked to see that, that Mother Nature, well, not necessarily Mother Nature, the dickhead that set it on fire but mother nature as far as fire goes didn't uh, venture this way and and destroy all of this well, what do you think right or left left or right hey what's going on Yeah, so I was just kind of shooting the breeze with those dudes about the fire and how this place has had bad luck, man. Check that out. So what else is new? Let's see. Uh, well, on Tuesday, I completed the California Motorcycle Safety Program. So I'm waiting on my certificate to come in the mail. Hike that down to the, everyone's favorite place, the DMV. Looks like he's landing right up there. Oh no, he's over here now. Oh, does I almost fall over? There he is. Chopper! I'm here, kill me, do it now! Now we're getting into the fire damage here. Oh yeah. Yikes. We got some company. We're fine to turn out quick. That's incredible that it did not jump the road here and just take all of this with it. Unreal.
So there you go, Mojeska Peak, closed fire hazard entry by permit only, United States Forest Service. Yeah, and then this is the same notice that I ran into over at El Carrizo. Woo! Boy, that is some silty, silty, silt. Silty, silty, silt, people. Remember that. Ah, that's what I was going to tell you guys. I'm riding in my new boots. The TCX Drifter. This is my first time riding in them. I hate them. <laughs> I absolutely hate it. I'm so used to riding in those Ugg boots. <laughs> nice, soft, supple Uggs. These feel absolutely numbing. Like wearing two casts, I can't feel, I can't feel shit to be quite honest. I almost feel like it's more unsafe than safe because it feels completely foreign. Completely foreign to me. They're stiff, they're... I had to raise the shift lever up, now that feels awkward. Oh, it's just really going to take some getting used to. Because the toe box is, is high, you know, it's, it's, it's a big boxy protected toe, so... I'm just not used to that. And the lugs on the bottom, the lug sole, it's just like sticky, man. It's like having, you know, tar stuck to the bottom of your feet. And I don't know, it's really, really unnatural feeling. I'll show you up here when I come to a stop. Um, I had to cut the little you know, rubber, like, grommet that's around the shift lever off just to fit my toe under there. So, yeah, I feel more protected, obviously, but at the same time, or the other side of the coin, I almost feel safer if I can completely fill the controls with my feet versus having these you know, big Frankenstein boots on. It's like a cat with tinfoil on his feet, man. That's what I feel like. So here's the boots. And don't get me wrong, the build quality is is top notch. Super comfortable too, but just so foreign, so, like I was saying, numbing feeling. You know, normally there's a big rubber piece that goes around this, but I had to snip that off to give me enough room to put the toe box under because I tried just lifting, you know, raising the shift lever up, but then it's so high that my foot doesn't flex high enough up to really hit the high gears. So I don't know. I just gotta get used to them, I guess. Walk around in them, wear them around the house. Do cholo squats like this. This is a nice little spot here. What the hell goes that way? Hmm. Well, what do you know? This is my first time coming down this way. I guess this is the uh, the way down or the way up from Silverado. I just never made the effort to to 
come this far over. Very interesting. Kinda scary guys, I'm starting to get the taste for for wanting to jump. I guess that's a natural progression. I'm sure wheelies will come next. Hypocrite. My hypocrisy knows no bounds. I bet there's all sorts of shenanigans that go on in all of these little turnoffs. People come up here and God knows what happens. Hoodlums. Riffraff. So in conclusion guys, I'm absolutely ecstatic that a good majority of these fire roads are open again. I'm not complaining, I'll take what I can get. So hopefully everyone does their part. You know, plays nice. Don't do anything stupid to get them shut down again. And we should be good for a while. This is enough to, you know, kind of keep the skills up and get out to something that's close by without having to load the bike up. It's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Until next time. That's a wrap.